Um, and here's, here's the first claim. Um, and, uh, and you can see it all over the internet um, with um, uh, that and this certain, I guess you can say, cult of, of followers, if you would. Um, and I quote the first one, menstruation is not natural in a healthy woman. What do you say to that? <laughs> um, I must disagree. It's one of the signs of uh, health in a woman, like I explained to you before. Women who are stressed, uh, almost every college student can attest to having a period that came late because this happened right before a major exam and they were very anxious about the exam and not sleeping well, not eating right. Those things can affect the regularity and timing of a woman's period. Um, women who are very underweight, we're talking about unhealthy weight, tend not to have normal periods. So obviously you have to be in good health to have normal menstruation. I already explained about those women who are extremely obese. Extremes of weight tends to affect one's ability to have a normal cycle. Hmm. Okay, so uh, I think that torpedoes the whole notion of menstruation being a disease. No, it's um, not a disease. Right, and, and it sounds to me like you're saying that the absence of menstruation could be considered a disease. Yes. In fact, a, a woman not having, again, you don't have to have menses if we give you medications to prevent them. You know, we now have birth control pills that a woman can take for an entire year and not have periods. We have birth control pills that a woman can take for three months four months and not have a period, but that we are inducing the lack of a period. So that does not cause the woman any problem. But when nature, when because of whatever is going on in the woman, the woman does not have a period, the, that woman tends to run the risk of having cancer of the lining of the womb because that woman is not having the natural cycling that stops cancerous growth inside the womb. So having a wow. period is important unless so we saying, induce. Yes, go ahead. I, th I, think we need to, I think we need to definitely repeat that. So you're saying that um, not having a period can make a woman more susceptible to getting cancer? Yes, not having a, a period can cause a cancer. A again, let me explain the biology behind it. Mm -hmm. Inside the womb, there are two parts of the cycle. The first phase, you have thickening of um, the lining, and the second phase, it becomes more compact. Again, it's getting ready for that baby to attach to the woman's womb. But mm -hmm. when conception does not occur, the lining sloughs because of the dipping of the female hormone. Mm -hmm. In the ovary, we have two halves of the cycle. The first half, the ovary makes a lot of estrogen. The second half, the ovary makes a lot of progesterone. These are the two main female hormones. A woman who does not ovulate will not have the second uh, hormone, the progesterone. Estrogen helps to build the lining. And when you don't ovulate and don't have normal periods, then you have unopposed estrogen effects on the lining, eventually that unchecked growth becomes cancer. Mm. I think that was pretty important. Thank you so much for explaining that. Um, so, and here's, here's, here's to the next claim. Um, there's, there's one claim out there that says that black women did not menstruate before slavery. Uh, what do you say to that? Um, I, I've never heard of such a thing. I'm Nigerian, and Nigerian women menstruate just like any other black woman in Africa. So, uh, again, these women were never enslaved, right. or at least not the typical slavery that, you know, we talk about here in the United States. Um, right. They do have regular menstrual periods. They have 
problems with their menstruation just like any other woman in any other part of the world if they are uh, they have certain disease conditions again you know women who are anorexic anorexic or who are un greatly underweight or women who are obese we have all these women in Africa and they have the same problems that these women in America face so um, menstruation just being a woman it doesn't matter what your race or color religion creed social status every woman menstruates between the time they go through puberty and the time they go through menopause. Mm. And, and that tor torpedo several claims on my list. Um, and some of the claims included African women don't menstruate and mi mammals only menstruate in captivity. <laughs> um, and, and <laughs> so I think a couple of claims got torpedoed by by um, your answer and another one I've heard is that only meat eaters menstruate is that true uh, again I can only recall my background I, I was born and raised in Nigeria and uh -huh. we eat all kinds of meat uh -huh. and women in Nigeria's women in every other country menstruate has nothing to do with the what's in your diet now it may be that if you don't eat enough, again, if you're anorexic, maybe because of extreme poverty, mm -hmm. you don't have that weight to help you menstruate, then you will not. But that's abnormal. That's not to say that if you feed that person calories that will not menstruate. Your body recognizes calories, not meat versus, you know, fat. It need, right. You need to have a certain caloric intake to be able to menstruate. Mm. So, uh, you know, vegetarians menstruate, people who eat all kinds of food menstruate. You don't have to be just, you know, a meat eater. Now, here's one that I just encountered um, maybe last night or the, or the night before. And um, some, some this, one of these people in, in their book, which can be, be commonly found, um, says that um, menstruation is caused by women that have sex at night. Uh, no, 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 I mean, it, it has no biological possibility. The physiology, like I explained, is you get to a certain age, and typically in the United States, it's mm -hmm. about 12 years of age. Right. Girls start to go through puberty and their right. ovaries start to function you know hormones are released and it causes the cascade of events that results in menstruation I'm, I'm it doesn't matter if you're sexually you active <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be sexually active to menstruate so it has nothing right. to do with the uh, no right right I mean it, I, I'm trying not to laugh too hard after mentioning that because I mean, there there are there are women that are are um, celibate and mm -hmm. and completely celibate don't have yes. sex during the night or daytime and, and still menstruate cycle <laughs> and and, and, oh, and so uh, and and then there there are also women that that remain sexually active after menopause and don't mm -hmm. menstruate right and right so, <laughs> so once you go through menopause. You don't menstruate. If you start bleeding, there's a problem, and we need to figure out what that problem is. Right, right. Um, and so, um, and when um, Dr. Anachebe, one of the things that um, a lot of these people will say when when you break out the science in black and white, um, in in response to these claims, is is you know, um, a lot of diluted romantic Afrocentrics uh, will say, oh, gynecology is the white man science, or that's the European science, or, or how, how, would you re how would you respond to that? Uh, no, I don't think so. Y you know, <laughs> inside, we're all the same. Right. We really are all the same. The anatomy, again, in medical school, you know, we study anatomy. We have cadavers who are, you know, black cadavers that are white, it's the same. Anatomy is the same. Physiology is the same. You know. Right. So gynecology is not a white man's science. 
Right, right. I think it's um, 